in all my old home country where I used to come out and run sled dogs when I was a kid. On this Rolling Bones TV adventure. The bear hunting was not that great, so we did a little fishing. And the fishing was absolutely phenomenal. Up. We've got some sheep spotted here, and, and man, I wanted to squeeze the trigger so bad. It's like, eh. I'm hanging on the side of this mountain right now with every ounce I got, man. Where's he at? On the skyline. This is the King Daddy right here. Yeah! Probably the most impressive part of hunting in Alaska is not the size of the game, it's, it's the sheer magnitude of the country you're in. And I've not found one place in Alaska that doesn't take your breath away. This was a big trip and we were dividing this hunt up. The first leg of it was gonna be a brown bear hunt. One of the experiences of bear hunts, uh, Brad, Brian, and I, we were uh, hunting like, I think like 15, 16 hours a day. Then you're like, holy, I've only been sleeping a couple hours and I've been hunting 14, 15 hours. So the, the light change, it keeps you up too much sometimes. Gotta make sure strong to pop Brian's eyes open. We had a late night last night. <laughs> I do know that Brian needs his coffee to get going. Perfect guides coffee maker. Oh my God, that was not coffee. That is not coffee. That, that is hot water with grounds in it and then it's mixed up and then Jeff sticks his fingers in it and then it's like, here, want some? Good. This is all my old home country where I used to come out and run sled dogs when I was a kid. This is Jeff's living room. I like his view from his deck. We've seen four brown bear and man, lots of black bear, but just nothing that we were looking for. The weather really here has been perfect for Jamaica. Um, Cancun. The bear hunting was not that great because of the heat, but we wanted to make the best of it, so we did a little fishing, and the fishing was absolutely phenomenal. This is the best day of the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm in Alaska catching fish on a riverbank in the middle of the Alaskan range, and this is a pretty spectacular place. Better than any video game I've ever played, right? Man, I'm telling you, there's 25, 30 pound kings rolling right in front of me. We're just taking these spinners and Jeff Scott is just basically getting, getting the spinner open into the uh, current and then just cutting across past them and giving them something to strike at. I'm horsing him pretty good, you got him? My first king of the trip. So that's a male and he's just he's, he's just behind those yeah. he's just behind all those females. Yep. So those sure big is. females, those big hens are the, the big ones we're seeing. Yeah, most of them. Uh, I think that one I hooked earlier was a giant was male. Was a great big male, but usually the biggest fish are the females. There he goes. He wanted out of here, he's like later. <laughs> and these fish were coming in and we could see these kings and we had caught a couple of the kings, but um, Jeff was like, you know, a lot of times the Dolly Vardens stack in there and I'd never caught a Dolly Varden. And man, I'm telling you, uh, they were a fun fish to fish. This little sucker fought a lot harder than you think. He, he almost fights like uh, a brown. 
and it was fun to fight them, and they were great, unbelievable eating. I mean, probably the best trout I've ever eaten in my life. That looks incredible. Oh. Absolutely incredible, bro. Butter, frying pan, shore lunch, oh, those were good. Don't get any better than this. Um, bear hunting is uh, essentially officially over unless something comes out here. Getting picked up by a jet boat, these uh, rivers braid out and we've lost our channel so we couldn't get to the, uh, the airstrip, but the jet boat's coming to pick us up so we're going to run over. Nice flying. Right in. I'm Ryan. Ryan, Jesse Hamilton. Jesse, pleasure Jesse, meeting you, man. Thank you, so you're the quintessential Alaskan guy. There you go. There Are we you going go. up? We're going up. We're going up. <laughs> yep. Up into that stuff, huh? Yep, you betcha. Well, I'm looking forward to right it. Right on. Welcome to the new ACI. Every family has a heritage. Ours is making ammo. Our company is moving forward. ACI is growing just like our family. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Production is what keeps the company running. Inspecting, packaging. Quality pretty much lands on us. Visit m1morestore.com or stop by the store in Stevensville, Montana. Thank you, troops. That's our Alaskan guy <laughs> brushing his teeth. That's a Nebraska toothbrusher in Alaska right there, boom. But uh, as you can see, Jesse and Jeff are ready to go up. We've got some sheep spotted here and then there's this big canyon that comes down and, and uh, these. Uh, then we can see down in here, there's a glacier in the past. We've been watching some sheep last night. We saw a band of rams out by the, uh, um, right across from the main camp. So we're gonna go up, uh, we got a drop up there. We're gonna go get our camp and uh, set it up up high. So that'll be camp number six or seven. Hopefully be up in there by about 2.30, 3 o'clock, have our camp set and about four or five, have some sheep set and back out about, and then- uh, I'm gonna take your watch. Go away. at it. So I'm just giving you relevance. The, these Alaskan guys, they don't like watching. Watch okay, so somewhere in the afternoon about dark anyway. <laughs> when we get there. <laughs> Let's go sheep hunting. We just climbed up about 150 feet. We have this cat, or they call it a tractor, that we're gonna take everything up. And we have some drops up there. Like I grew up on a farm in Iowa. We definitely know how to jerry rig things to get them to work. When you look under jerry rig in the dictionary, this thing is like, that's the picture of jerry rig. I've never seen anything like it. These are my little monsters. We've got four of these total, three in the field, one for parts back in town. And when we pulled up on it, I'm like, how do you even operate this? And then he crawls in this little like hole with these little uh, joysticks and he puts an old wood bench that's been chewed up by rats and beavers and chipmunks. And he sits on it, he's like, let's go. And then I'm like, I'm not getting on that. It's like crazy. But there we were. And after about a mile of the jungle, I was like, let's just let me on that. I don't even care if it rolls over me. That is a huge swamp we just went through. And this tractor crawled right over it, man. That's unbelievable. I've had, I've had uh, cabbies from New York. None of them have looked like him right there.
Rolling Bones Outfitters, a company created by hunters for hunters. Let us help you find your next outdoor adventure. Contact us at Rolling Bones Outfitters. We match the hunter to the hunt. Day nine in Alaska. Goat meal, as our infamous guide calls it. In Iowa, if you have feed that nothing else will eat it, a goat will eat it. We're hoping to have a big day. We got some sheep around the corner. We got some sheep down the drainage. So uh, we're going to go find out. They're going to make their move. We're going to make our move and see what happens. increase here we got about 1500 feet below it but it's just cresting its back here but there's three or four rams up there right now they've spotted them from up above and uh, the guy's got us in position that if he's got if he's legal we'll be making a slip around here to the left the wind's blowing perfect uh, this game could happen fast so we'll see what happens they're at 600 yards and two of them look real legal there's three mature rams, one's not sure, but the two of them, one carries his mass all the way out, the one's full curl on this side, and he's boom. <coughs> I'm fired up right now. Okay, these three rams, we've been on them for about two hours. The one we know is six, he's the younger one, we just gotta make sure we have this one. Exactly, triple, quadruple confirmed, which we basically have. We're having to give us a little better luck and then we're gonna crawl up here and make our play on it. As you can see, we have four ramps behind us on that flat. And there's up to six out there today. We have one mature ram. He carries his mass all the way out. We're gonna get a early hike out of here, get up here real early back in the morning and see if we can't make a play on him, get within a couple hundred yards, find out exactly what he ages and to be sure he's full curl. He looks like he is, he sweeps out real nice. He's a big mature ram. So if he's legal and everything goes well tomorrow and I can get my butt up that hill, we'll have uh, ram stew tomorrow evening. Good day, huh, Jesse? Good day. Good day. Good day. On sheep all day long, huh? Yeah. Hey, boy. There you go, man. Get on them tomorrow. Bones TV is proud to salute our sponsors. Kershaw Knives, there's nothing like a Kershaw. Arms Corps Ammunition, the official ammo of Rolling Bones Outfitters. By Realtree Max One Camo, for all the places deer and antelope roam. The Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort, elevate your experience. And by Rolling Bones Outfitters, be sure to sign up today for exclusive member benefits, including discounts on hunts and merchandise. Log on to RollingBonesOutfitters.com. As you can see this morning, we have frost, serious frost in the pumpkin. And we were, we were on the mountain early, and I was excited. Um, it, it was one of those mornings that you anticipate forever. I have ice on my boots. So anyway, drinking. we're drinking some cowboy coffee, ready to get up the hill and uh, see what happens. And it's really not a hill. I just say that in my mind to make sure that it's fixated on simplicity and easiness. And right away, we weren't out of camp. Uh, we weren't out of camp two miles. And right away, there was white sheep right above us on the horizon. 
have three rams up here. Uh, we've been heading up this valley 2.3 miles. That's straight line, so probably three miles up it every day. So it is a march up, but when we're up, we're surrounded by rams and we're out on a bald knob. The rams really don't seem to mind that we're here. They, they, they give us a look, but they don't scamper off. They've just settled in. We've been on them for four days. Good spot, Jesse. We just spotted another ram, another sheep right up on the skyline. Possibly five if that's a ram on the right, but definitely four. There's four up there. And one's our big guy we've been looking at for three days. We gotta confirm he's eight. And then it's game on. So they're about 800 yards away right now. We had these rams up here and they had us pinned down. We were under them or maybe we had them pinned up. I don't know how you want to say it, but they knew we knew they were here. We didn't want to break them out and we watched them. We got set up to make a 700 yard shot. Yep. He's got his head turned, looks good, doesn't he? And man, I wanted to squeeze the trigger so bad. It was like, ah. And the emotion is just crazy because you're sitting there waiting for your a guide because it's, it's, it's uber, uber important that we know this ram is legal. It was just, you know, as highs and lows, a lot of them. We didn't get him aged right until he went over the skyline. He's full curl and we have age on him. So he's a legal ram. We're going after him right now. We're gonna scoot up this uh, face of this mountain, get around, there's a meadow up there. There's a big flat bench. They've been living there for the last five days. So we're crawling into their bedroom on the last hour of the last uh, really full day of uh, this type of hunting. So we're gonna go see what happens right now. I've never seen Alaska deal you the hand that you thought it should deal you. And so sometimes you can have 10 minutes to get your shot off, the next time you got 10 seconds to get your shot off. It's a lot of work, man. But here's what I can tell you. Preparation and boxes of shells through your rifle will pay great dividends when that moment comes. Where's he at? On the skyline? He's spinning circles right at the crest. He's got blood on him. Does he have blood on him? Yes. Yeah. Are you kidding me? The party's over. Congratulations, amigo. Good shot. <laughs> Good shoot. Oh my God. <laughs> oh brother, what? Oh my god, I've never worked that hard. I'm just hanging on the side of this mountain right now with every ounce I got, man. I'm telling you. I, I apologize about the language, but this is way more than a sheep hunt. <laughs> this is a test of will and spirit and freaking flat determination. I tell you, I'm serious, I swear to gosh, man. You freaking outfitters are like mountain sheep. Nothing quite like it, man. Nothing you, like it. I can't even tell you how pretty much I appreciate this, Jesse. You too, Jeff. You're welcome, Brian. Good job, man. Unbelievable. We got a little walk to get over there. Look at that monarch of the mountain. Am I the most blessed man in the Way world? Go, buddy. Way to go. Oh my God. You can feel it as soon as you step inside the lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort. There's a distinctive sound and it draws you in. Machines light up everywhere you turn. Excited crowds gather around the tables and undeniable energy gets your blood pumping and intrigues you. Makes you want more. Makes you want to see if tonight is your night. Will you try your luck at your favorite slot machine or sit down for a few hands of blackjack? It's your move and it's waiting for you at the lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort. Get a hold of us. <laughs> literally, literally. 80 yards away, man. If I don't make this shot, there's a high probability I'm going home with nothing, which is just is an exhausting hunt, right? You're at the end of, you, you push yourself physically to the end. But the shot, 
you know, when it presented itself, and we don't have any time. I threw my pack down, got down. There was uh, somewhere between 17 and 20 seconds, and uh, Jesse ranged the animal, and uh, I dialed, um, settled into the scope, squeezed the trigger, and uh, the bullet made its way five and a half football fields. This is a test of will and spirit and freaking flat determination. Getting the, I mean, it was over. I mean, it was, it was, it was the pinnacle. It was the climax. It was done, and I was done, and I was done. I mean, I was done because it didn't matter. Because even if I had another day of hunting, I was done. Like I was done. I was done. Okay. Woo! Holy smokes! There's your ram, Brian. Woo! Congratulations, buddy. Nice job. Yeah, nice, nice job. job. Look at that monarch of the mountain. Am I the most blessed man in the Way world? To go, buddy. Way to go. <laughs> oh my God, Jesse. Congratulations. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it, man. Oh, I tell you what, this is such Got a team it. effort. You guys, my wife and kids, the crew at Rolling Bones, I can't even believe it. This, this is a dream come true. And Jeff goes, I got my sat phone. And I go, man, I'd love to call my wife. He goes, I got my sat phone, we should call her right now. Hey, Lindley, Christine. <laughs> you're, the, you're the first call I'm making. I'm sitting over a nine-year-old ram with great big horns at the top of the mountains, at the rooftop of the world. Thank you, I just want to call and tell you thanks. This is a team effort, and you and the boys. Uh, I appreciate you letting me come and do this, but this is unbelievable. This, this is unbelievable. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, Brian. Thank great you, job. sir. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. This has been an unbelievable 12-day hunt. Um, and the sheep hunts aren't 12 days, but we did a, we did a combo uh, Alaskan adventure and I've just had the time of my life. If you're looking for something like this, man, you got to get a hold of us. We have the outfitters right here, man, and they are unbelievable. Congrats, What's up, guys? <laughs> Congrats, buddy. How are you doing? Hey, man. Great. Um, Congratulations hey, to you, too. Awesome. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, how about it, though? Two sheep, a caribou, and a brown bear. Oh, yeah. And what basically a on a six day hunt. What a hunt. I'm on both. Yeah. Let's go, sheep, man. We got to get a little of the flavor of camp after the hunt. Extreme Expeditions is one of our top uh, Alaskan outfitters, and we're actually closing out a four-week series on Wild Alaska with Brad Dana, Brandon Neal, myself, and the owner, one of the co-owners, Jeff Raleigh, and we've had a fantastic time. Oh man, what an epic Alaskan adventure, huh? Just unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs>